So this time I'm going to be reviewing two figures that I got recently and one of them is Thrilling 30's Roadbuster. This is one of my uh, figures that I wanted for a long long time and it impressed me like a lot. For starters, the look on this thing is quite good. Aside from the stickers which I might need to improve, this thing is pretty nice. Almost on par with modern figures like Jazz here, which I'm also going to be reviewing on this review. But also the fact that the articulation is pretty good. It has swivel here, uh, ankle swivel, and some, some hinges on the feet, including a pivot, which if you can, this guy can really go down. But, but now let's talk about the looks. Now, taking a look at the head sculpt, as you can see, nice new focus. Name it. It doesn't really want to focus at the head, but Roadbuster over here has a pretty nice head sculpt. Uh, I do like the way it looks. And this moving along, he's a pretty chunky boy. Like, chunky. Really, really chunky. As you can see, he has a small backpack. At least it's small. And let's go on to the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint. The arms are on ratchets. Which are pretty tight when you move them down. I'm gonna ratchet rotation, rotation at the bicep, double bend at the elbow. No waist articulation, unfortunately. Legs can do a forward that far with, without the armor clashing in the way. I mean, getting in the way. Move much more backwards since there's none of these parts. And we already got some paint chipping. And. It doesn't really go out that far, also because of the armor. We have a tight side swivel, a double bend, I mean, a double jointed knee bend, which is not really going to get us pretty far. And as mentioned, foot really, really nice foot articulation. Well, this guy's pretty poseable. And let's talk about the accessories it comes with. So, these can all be mounted on Roadbuster at all times, but let's look at them one by one. So, the first one here is the missile launcher. See, there's a hole here and a missile which can shoot. Eh. There we go. And my preferred place is on the shoulder. As you can see. Next up is the uh, gun or rifle. And as you can see, pretty nicely sculpted rifle, but the back is pretty hollow. But there's a, there's a port over here which you can attach weapons. So we just get the... This could be a pistol or something. It's pretty basic. Chat attaches over here. It's pretty tight. And you can also add, attach what I assume is a missile launcher. So it just attaches over here. Pretty nice. Let's just attach it on Roadbuster. And you can port nearly everything. I prefer to leave it on this hand since there's you see the ugly gaming hole now this just attach plan to attach this on the shoulder you can attach this on whatever you want and since they're these things are both uh, these things are oh god I just hit blue streak these things are both hinged they got 
a larger pistol with the same hinge and it and you attach this on the shoulder final thing is a missile launcher which is pretty nicely sculpted missiles and nicely sculpted all around and these attach over here there we go now let's move on to the next one before we go on to the transformation so next up is we got jazz and as you can see he's he's pretty nice g1 e jazz now the backpack is way more obvious but still he's taking a look at the scope which is Again, focus, focus, remind, but as you can see, it's a pretty nice head sculpt. And you can see he has a big chest. He's wide, he has a wide torso, but pretty average limbs. And so, for the articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. This neck flap is for transformation purposes, but if you want to look much more down, you can do that, but it doesn't make much sense. The arms go all the way out. And you can use this transformation hinge for a little bit more. We got bicep rotation, bend at the elbow, hinge joint at the wrist, waist rotation, kick up to the front, kick back this this pretty good splits not all the way I mean, nearly the full splits side rotation bend at the knee and if you want to you could use the transformation joint as a double knee bend and a foot pivot and a toe bend. I mean, I mean, this just bends down for transformation purposes. But if you snip this thing a little bit, then you might get more of a foot. And the only accessory Jazz comes with is a blaster. And the backdrop, which is over there. I'm not gonna be taking a look at that, but yeah, here's Jazz, and he's decent. Moving on to Roadbuster's transformation. So this is how you transform him. Oh God, this is. Yep. Maybe it's not attached in right. But no. Wait, no, it's not. It's not all the way in. That's. Now for the legs. So here we have Roadbuster in his vehicle mode, and as you can see, he's a. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's a 4x4 vehicle. So originally, he transforms into a Jeep. I think this is an off road vehicle. It's pretty bulky. And you can attach the weapons again. 
my configurations is same again. This launcher's on top. Again, just didn't know how this works. So here. Yeah, I think that's right. I might just place the missile launcher up top. And this is my configuration of uh, the, oh god, the, the rifle just slots out. And turn them around, places in. Here we go. Uh, and the next up is going to be Jazz's transformation. As for Jazz over here, then. If you like the character, you can get him. Just be wary of the clear plastic, since I've heard that's an issue. But other than that, pretty good. So let's wrap up this video by saying thank you for watching. And if you want to see more toy reviews, then just, I don't know. You might have to wait a very, very long time. But, okay. So, goodbye everyone.